and I really don't want to. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new. Today's Thursday and I have lots to do today. I have orders to pack and I've got errands to run. I need to get my nails done so bad. They're so grown out and chipped and I have stuff to do around the house. It is almost 11. I haven't even had my coffee yet. I was trying to wait because Amazon is delivering my caramel drizzle today and I really wanted to make a caramel macchiato but I don't think it's gonna come in time. I just don't think I can wait any longer. Like I need some coffee to get my day going. So I'm probably just gonna make a regular macchiato like I have been and hold off on that. Maybe I'll make like a second coffee later just for fun because I really wanna try that drizzle. I was getting my hair done yesterday and I answered some very personal questions in a Q and A. So if you guys wanna go check this out, I saved it to a highlight, lots of good questions. I got like so many DMs too of you guys. Uh, just like saying oh my gosh, thank you for getting so personal like thanks for doing this So a lot of you guys enjoyed the q a it was definitely more in depth than Anyone i've ever done before and I saved it to this highlight called about me trooper is doing really well by the way He is still a super lazy little piggy and don't judge me But I gave him one of our pillows because he just needed it this morning like he looked like he needed it <laughs> but his Stitches, FYI, I'm about to show you his stitches. They are healing really nicely, as you can see. Um, so that's really good. And you can see like where they shaved him, it's so funny. But he's doing really well. Today is actually the first day of him only getting one dose of the pain medication. Usually he gets two doses, but today we are starting the process of weaning him off of it. So he's got like two or three days of just one dose, which is awesome. So he is coming along. And Stetson, of course, is doing well too. And we literally like, I don't know if I even told you guys this before, but we like rearranged our living room and moved the coffee table all the way over here because Trooper can't really walk around with the cone on. So we wanted him to have like a big open space. So this like whole area has just been like their bedroom. And Chad and I put this towel down because we were like laying on the floor with them, snuggling them. It's been nice. Yeah. I'm literally right in the middle of about to start brewing my espresso and I just got a message from Amazon saying that they are eight stops away with my caramel so I'm gonna wait, I'm so excited. Okay, it came in, I'll show you guys how I make it. Don't really know uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna try and make it similar to Starbucks. But I know that Starbucks puts um, vanilla in there, it's like they put vanilla syrup and sweeten it, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want it to be, you know, I don't wanna add any unnecessary sugar, I just want the drizzle, so let's do this. Here we go, this is very exciting. It looks so yummy. Caramel drizzle didn't really stick to this as well as I wanted it to, probably because I had ice in there previously and it was kind of wet in the inside so it didn't really stick, but this looks amazing. I am so happy right now, this is amazing. I wanted this so bad, I wanted to make my own caramel macchiato forever. This is delicious, look at all that caramel at the bottom. I actually do not need syrup. This sweetened it a lot. I'll probably do way less caramel next time. I wasn't expecting it to sweeten it, but it's still delicious. And by the way, the caramel drizzle that I ended up going with is actually like, it says authentic coffee house flavor. This uh, Tarani, it's met for coffee. So it's not just like for ice cream or I don't know, baking or something. It's actually meant for coffee. So I think that's why it goes so well with this. Are you making ramen? Yeah. Chad got these ramen noodles at Costco. Mm -hmm. He's making them for lunch, I guess. I didn't even realize it was already lunchtime. <laughs>
If you guys have not been to the Sun Bunny website yet this year, I just finally did a bunch of rebranding just a few days ago, and I did share it on the Sun Bunny Instagram, but I wanted to make Sun Bunny a little bit more bright and girly because those are kind of the target audience for people who shop at boutiques, and I wanted it to just be, I don't know, more happy and i felt like the colors like even though i love neutrals and i will still continue to sell neutrals i wanted the website itself and like the branding to just be a little bit more bright and fun and since pink has always been my favorite color i decided i would revamp it to be pink and i changed up the look of the logo a little bit more and added in the word boutique so that way you know it's obviously a boutique so um and i just kind of made everything look pink so right now we do still have our new year sale going on so you guys should definitely check it out literally everything is so cheap i'm just trying to clear out all of this inventory because i have loads coming in next week and i just need to get rid of stuff so a lot of this is going quick i packed a bunch of orders today and there's going to be more going out tomorrow so make sure you guys go check out this sale if you haven't it's a really good way to shop the store if you have been wanting to shop and get things for like really 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 cheap i mean some of the stuff on here is like less than 20 dollars. i think i even have a couple things for like 12 dollars for the samantha top the skirt's only 16 this top's 14 so really really good prices because we are clearing out so go check it out and let me know what you guys think of my new logo i'm really excited for the changes coming to the boutique just finished packing orders and i am about to go to the post office and go get my nails done run my errands for the day and chad is actually going to be working on this mirror so i've had this mirror for a little while now and we're going to sand it down and spray paint it black and i am very excited i just think i'm over any gold i like how Everything is basically black and white in here with little pops of color and I think this mirror being like a matte black color would look really cool So we're going to make it matte black and Chad is nice enough to work on that while I'm gone But I want to show you guys my outfit before I head out. This is just super casual running errands outfit So I'm wearing my Spanx leather leggings or faux leather leggings, but they're so comfy and then these super cute Steve Madden shoes I love these. I'll link them for you guys. And then just a black t-shirt that I think is from Target and a denim jacket. Nice and easy. I just started working in the garage like as I was leaving and he just told me that I should stop and get gas while I'm out. And I like never get gas by myself. He always gets it for me when we're out and I really don't want to. I'm like only a little bit above half a tank. Like it's not necessary that I get it now. Okay, I dropped off the packages and I just parked in the shopping center where Target is and Marshall's. It is currently 1.30, my nail appointment's at 2.45. So I have a little bit of time to kill. So we're gonna go browse Marshall's, which I totally planned it out this way because I love Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, like all of those stores. And the only time that I can ever enjoy being in there is when Chad's not with me because he doesn't let me look at anything. <laughs> Love him to death, but he's like not fun to shop with because he doesn't let me look at things. So we're gonna go in there because I can look around. It's just me today and you guys. So we're gonna go look around. I don't have too much that I'm actually looking for other than just like I'm killing time and it's kind of fun to get out of the house. But I will tell you the one or two things that I am looking for. Okay, so I wanna see if I can find an area rug that's either five by nine or eight by 10, preferably the bigger one for my office. I just really wanna get an area rug that will cover the vast majority of the room. And then I also want to see if I can find a little stool that would be really cute for my vanity area instead of having like a computer desk as a vanity chair. So we're gonna see what we can find. My hair's getting caught in my sunglasses. I'm excited. Let's go see what we can find. Okay, I didn't really have any luck in Marshalls, unfortunately. They had like barely any rugs and I didn't even find any kind of little stool at all. And I also looked at other stuff and it was just very picked through. So I'm going to go into Home Goods really quick and see what they have. Okay, well, I didn't really have any luck finding a rug or a little vanity stool, so I managed to kill a bunch of time, though, and it was still fun looking around, but I am going to go get my nails done now, and I'll show you guys what they look like when I come out. I'm honestly going to do the same exact color. I really, really liked this nude color, 
and I'm gonna do the same shape. Finished getting my nails done and I'm now in the Starbucks drive-thru. Just ended up getting my nails exactly the same as before and I just really love this color and I would tell you guys the color but it's not like one of the normal gel polishes. It's actually um, some other brand but the number is 87 and it's called Wild Nude if that helps but I don't know like the brand so yeah. I think I'm just gonna get a strawberry refresher. I don't really want coffee this late in the day but I really want a strawberry refresher. I got one like two days ago and it was so good. Definitely has more sugar than I should be consuming, but I just like want a sweet drink right now. I just realized I haven't shown you guys my new case. I posted a picture this morning on Instagram and I got so many questions about it. So this Hunter Green phone case with a little moon logo is coming to Sun Bunny very soon. And I love it so much. It's like a little bit of like a silicone feel. It has a felt interior. It's pretty good quality and it covers the square that's around your camera. So if you have a phone that is like a certain color um, and you want to cover that so that the entire case is just one color, this case is really cool for that. So I really, really like the color. It's also gonna come in a purple color and then I think a peach color as well. I'm still waiting on the peach ones to come in, but this will be dropping very soon. Chad is making us dinner. He's basically chopping up a bunch of veggies and we're gonna throw it in the air fryer with some chicken. Can I have a piece of this? Mm -hmm. I literally love raw broccoli. Makes me feel healthy. <laughs> Here's the great reveal. Chad did my mirror and I think it looks so good. So we're about to pull this off so we can, you know, obviously see what it truly looks like. But I love it. I think it turned out really, really, really good. And I was telling Chad that the texture of this, like before when it was gold, like obviously it was just gold, but now it looks like a like faux brushed wood almost. So go ahead. Are you gonna yeah, remove the tape? tape. tape so excited. Oh, you did two layers. I'm glad you did two layers. I was kind of worried about it, so. I'm so excited. I wanted it to be black, so then it's black like this mirror and then like my wallpaper and everything. I just think it really goes good together. Okay, I just Windexed it so it's nice and clean and here is the reveal. I love it, it's so cute. Love it so much more black than I did gold. Really just goes with everything. I'm still working on reading this book. I told you guys I literally take forever to read my books but I am really enjoying it and I will let you guys know when I do get finished it but I know I'm gonna wanna recommend this to you guys because it's honestly, it's so good. I feel like today's day and age is just like very relatable for people who are on social media. Mm -hmm. 